A Trip to Woodland, retold by Jane and Sarah Brearley. Illustrations by Tony Wolf. To arms! The very next day, Crocus called a general assembly of gnomes. Our honor is at stake, he announced. We must take a firm stand now, otherwise the dragons may attack us in the future. But I warn you, war is a very serious matter. The gnomes had only one thought, however. They voted unanimously for war. Under the direction of Crocus, the commander-in-chief, the gnomes started preparing for battle. However, as they trained, Crocus began to have doubts. War was a terrible thing. He wondered whether he could do something to avoid fighting. This might work, he exclaimed, suddenly struck by an idea. We'll show the dragons we're stronger than they are, but no one will get hurt. How the gnome's army prepared for battle. Court gunners being drilled, the firing range, field hospital run by the shamrock nurses, soap for giant bubbles for air reconnaissance, hoisting the flag at headquarters, chestnut cannon and corn cob fired bomb gunners, skunks milk supply for duck patrols. How the gnomes army prepared for battle. They have a standard bearer, court gunners, Field Marshal, General, a Scout, a Messenger, High Command Strategist, Commander Unit. They are forming the wall, oarsmen and scuba divers, kamikaze bees, giant-sized infantrymen. They have a demolition squad, shamrock nurses, corn cob fire bomber, air reconnaissance, a bagler, armored car with pepper spray, acorn machine gun, skunk's milk sprays. When the gong sounds, the enemy looks up. The gnome then opens the skunk's milk tank. The assault tower. They have a signaling mirror, range finder, boiling oil ladder, squash cannon, metal juice squash bombs, catapults, moving puncher, Chestnut guns, resin pourers. <laughs>